Hi, this is Trisha from Nature Lover Canada, and today we're hiking out to the frozen shores of Lake Erie. We are at conservation area. I swear that wasn't a squirrel that just distracted me. It was something though. Chipmunks. Chipmunks, that's what it was. Just join me. You hear that? That's the first thing I heard when I got out of the vehicle was a woodpecker off in the distance. Sounds like a big one. So it's 10 o'clock on a Wednesday morning and we're going to go for a hike at EMW Warwick Conservation Area, south of where we live, about an hour away from where we live. It's just me today, so that's all you're gonna see is just me. No cute little dog or chitra. I hope that's okay. So let's go check it out. This is the first time I've been here. There's one other car here. So perhaps they're here walking their dog. I don't know. Maybe we'll see them. Maybe we won't. Come along. It's uh, quite the sign. They got some pretty amazing graphics there. Ooh. Spotted it. Downy woodpecker. There should be a trail that heads down to the beach. We'll see if we make it down there before I get too hungry. Maybe I should have brought a granola bar. There's a deep ravine. falling down that. It's beautiful. You can just hear a faint sound of trickling water down there. Be nice if that woodpecker came this way. So this is a pretty wide trail. They say that there are some unmanaged smaller trails that you can go off on, but Ooh, this is pretty. telling me it is 11 o'clock and I should stop for snacks, but I think all I have with me is a lozenge. It's actually starting to rain. The lady that I met said there was a covered building up here. I'm not sure if that's the covered building. That looks kind of not promising. Oh, this is nicer than I thought it was going to be. A little rustic, but. Water tight enough. Let's see if we can't uh, wait out this rain.
Got a few things coming out in green already. Not quite the middle of March. All right, it didn't rain too much. It just seems to be um, off and on a little bit. So on we go. Let's go and check out this view. Here's a view of that shelter off in the distance. Definitely some place that you could weather some rain. Wow, that's cool. So that's Lake Erie, I believe. <laughs> it's Lake Erie. And it's really, really quiet out there. No waves, really, really still. There's ice, I don't know, four or 500 feet out. And then it's open water. Although Let's check this out a little bit closer, shall we? So I'm not too close to the edge because there is issues with erosion here. So the lake looks so cool. I think we will take the 0.5 kilometer round trip walk. Whew. I don't know if we can do it. We might need to take a break. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go take the walk down to the beach trail. There goes, oh no, those are not. Those are tundra swans. Okay. Okay, now that makes total sense because these flocks of birds been going overhead for a while now. In, you know, one here, one there. However many birds are in these flocks. And I'm thinking, those are some weird sounding Canada geese. You know, just in my mind, oh, those are weird Canada geese. But they didn't fly right overhead like those ones did. Those are tundra swans. They're migrating from the Arctic and I just heard somebody say that they hadn't come through yet. And yet there they were, a flock of, I don't know, 25, 30. I didn't count them. Chitra wasn't here to count them for me. So that's why they sounded weird. Listen to your instincts. If you think something sounds weird or looks weird or feels weird or tastes weird, it's probably weird. Tundra swans. Cool. Here we go. No more distractions by tundra swans. Unless I can capture them pretty well on video then. Lots of distractions from tundra swans. going down a hill. Hope I don't slip and fall and kill myself. It's quite pretty here. I'm, I, I think I'm a little surprised. Let's continue. Whew. Like I said, let's try not to kill myself. So it's, it's not only that it's wet, 
it's that there's leaves obviously everywhere as you can see and then we've had a lot of storms and wind and stuff so there's a lot of little twigs everywhere as well so I think I just rolled down on a few twigs on the side of a ravine it's getting deeper and deeper and there's ice everywhere <laughs> it's not really ice it's just um, crunchy well I guess it's crunchy snow which is ice so oh, check this out Some ferns just trying to be a little careful here hearing and seeing chipmunks. None of them close enough to catch on film. Treacherous. say you're okay because you're jinxing yourself and then right after that you're not okay that's just what happened to me so play it cool play it cool and just concentrate on where you're walking just don't walk on icy spots I see a staircase let's head towards the staircase Actually getting a little 
brighter out. Which is nice. Oh, it's only a little staircase. Okay, well. Something is better than nothing. We're almost at the lake. The river's gotten a little bit bigger, but it's flowing a little less. I'm anticipating great things down at this lake for this treacherous, icy trail down. is another thing that's slippery. Who would have thought it could be so treacherous? Yeah. not because I'm exhausted, it's because if we can't find a somewhat safe way to get down here without ending up in the drink. to see where other people have walked. Ooh, look at all this nice driftwood. So we The sun's kind of coming out. There is our view. Now, this isn't going to be like the pinery, so I don't know how deep the water is here. The pinery is very shallow, so you can kind of walk out on certain things, but this ice does not look like it's solid, and I'm pretty sure. Lake Erie is deeper than the shores of Lake Huron, at least where I'm accustomed to. There's my trusty friend up there, videotaping in case I fall in, just so that it can be, you know, on camera. So let's go around the edge here, staying nice and close to the edge. As you can see, there's a lot of erosion going on. And we don't want to get too 
too far under there because that just might be bad. Yeah, check out this erosion. Like we're literally under right now standing under trees that are alive as far as I can tell and this this doesn't look like sand here this looks like clay too much further there's actually water It's not really cold out, it's actually very comfortable out, so it's kind of, it kind of feels strange to see all this ice and all this frozen expanse, and yet feeling quite comfortable. I have my, I don't have a toque on, I have my gloves off, and I'm warm. Keep in mind, when you get down here, you have to get back up. Thank mm -hmm. you. 